So let's be clear, like different states will have different rules. So like it will like an entity that could apply in one state may not be able to apply in a different state, depending on how this, the states. Well, implement. if the states are not able, for example, to get out of the letters of credit, then no, that's then the little guys are, can't, aren't going to apply. Th those are that those are a killer. Most little ISPs can't get those. They're not available to them. And I know because in North Carolina, great grants have that requirement and all the little ISPs had to walk away. They can't get them. It's exactly the same requirement. I mean, it sounds like they copied the language. And so... And, and you know, this has been something that's been brought up by, you know, WISPA, by others for years, that this, this language, I mean, this goes back to the FCC has this requirement often, you know, some of the states do. This is not a surprise that that, is, that requirement is, is, um, is there. This is, I mean, this is one of those things that pisses me off as a policy person, because this is a bureaucratic cover your ass thing, right? Mm -hmm. Because like... There, you're in a position, and this happens a lot in the small business administration, in which your job is literally to fund business models that are on the edge, right? The market will fund solid business proposals in most cases if we have a working market. If we do not, that's why we have a small business administration. That's why we have broadband grant grants. These involve higher risk that the private sector does not want to fund on its own. And then the, and then the bureaucrats, because they don't want to have to answer to elected officials that are going to rant and make them the enemy and demagogue them, they put in all these requirements to try and make sure none of the loans go bad. Well, guess what? If you're going to invest in the hardest to reach areas, the highest cost areas, you have to take some risks, and some of those risks are going to go bad. And we just need some freaking adults in the room that are willing to stand up. And I say that both among elected officials and among the bureaucrats that are making the rules.